Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Anam Pavana Sapakta. Close your eyes and drop all your other concerns. Just focus on the breath right here, right now. The mind needs some time for itself. Because we live in a world that wears away not only the body, but also the mind. The wearing away of the body is something we don't notice as much as we might. As you get older, you begin to realize that the only reason you have a body is because it knows how to regenerate itself. Otherwise, it would have been worn down to nothing a long time ago. And as you get older, that's what aging is. It's the lack of the body's ability to regenerate itself. We have to look after the mind in the same way, too. It has to regenerate itself. We live in a world where things come and hit us all the time. As the Buddha said, it's like being a cow with your skin re removed. And sight, sound, smells, taste, tactical sensations come in, and they hit you immediately. And the mind has to do something about them. It's constantly looking after this, worried about that. It doesn't have much time for itself. So take some time for yourself right now. Put away all your other concerns, just your awareness right here with the breath. That's all you're responsible for. You don't even have to think about who you are or where you are, aside from that your awareness is right here with the breath. Give it some time to rest. Give it some time to recuperate. So as you go out in the world, Okay, you're going from a position of strength, because all t too often the things we do that are thoughtless and heartless are because we don't have much thinking power and we don't have much heart power. We see something and we're afraid, this, this is going to hurt us, that's going to harm us. We feel that we're coming from a position of weakness, and so we just do whatever we can. And often we end up causing a lot of harm, both for ourselves and the people around us. But if you're coming with a lot more strength in your thoughts and more strength in your heart, then your deeds will be more thoughtful. You can think about the implications, you can think about the consequences of what you're doing and what you're saying. And you have time to consider what's the wisest thing to do in the long term. You're not just concerned about looking after things in the short term. So look after the mind in this way. Learn how to heal it. The ways it's been wounded, the ways it's wounded, been wounded by things outside, and the ways it's wounding itself. Because we wound ourselves with our greed, aversion, and delusion. Yet you know, we don't realize it. Those are things we go after. It's like the kind of food that's bad for your stomach, but you really like to eat it. You've got to realize that certain things, when you think about them, are really harmful to the mind. Why think about them? If it's not necessary, then you can just put them aside, put them aside. In other words, you learn how to look after your, your mind, not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but after all, you get a sense of how you can do it as you go through the day. So this ability to rebuild the mind, the ability to recuperate is something that becomes more and more built in. This is how the mind is able to maintain its goodness. I mean, its awareness is something that doesn't die. But your goodness is something that can die. And so that's what you've got to look after. The goodness of your thoughts, the goodness of your words, the goodness of your deeds. They need to be built on a solid foundation. This is what you're providing right here as you let the mind settle down. To have a sense of belonging here in the present moment, of knowing what to do here in the present moment, not feeling that you're going to be pushed out at any time. You're here, and you're coming from a position of strength. And that way you benefit, the people around you benefit as well, because you know how to, how to heal the wounds in the mind and how to stop causing more wounds on into the future. Because of the wounds that come from outside, the things that other people do and say, they only go so far into the mind. It's the wounds that we create from our own greed, aversion, and delusion. Those go deep down into the mind and do long-term harm. So as long as you've got the ability not to wound yourself in that way, then the wounds that come from outside you can brush off very easily, because they don't go very deep. You've got this large body of goodness inside, and you know how to look after it. That's your, that's your true wealth in this life. Everything else, as John Lee says, is just decorations along the road. <laughs>